Hey hello friends welcome to my youtube channel in this video we are going to see how to interface esp826 with arduino so let's get started before seeing the esp826 arduino interface we need to know a few things about the esp826 module the esp826 wi-fi module comes with default firmware which supports at command after interfacing the ESP8266 Wi-Fi module with Arduino and uploading our own program, the original firmware will be erased. We will see in a separate video how to interface ESP8266 module for AT command and also how to flash the original firmware using Arduino. Now we will see how to program ESP8266 using Arduino and access its GPIO pins. For this we need Arduino Uno, some jumper wires, breadboard one led one micro switch and our esp8266 esp01 esp8266 wi-fi module can be programmed using arduino ide and in order to do that we need to make a few changes to the arduino ide first go to file then preferences in the arduino ide and in the additional board manager url section paste this url copied from description and then click ok now go to tools board uh, then board manager and search for esp8266 in search field select the esp8266 by esp8266 community and then click on install i already installed it If you take a look at the pins of the ESP8266 module, you can observe that it is not breadboard friendly. So I am here going to use jumper wires for connections. The RX and TX pins of the ESP8266 module are connected to RX and TX pins on the Arduino board. One important thing we have to consider here that we must connect RX of Arduino to RX of ESP8266 and tx to tx of esp8266 if we change then we got this error that is synchronization error the esp8266 module works on 3.3 volt power supply and anything greater than that like 5 volt for example we kill the soc so the vcc pin and cspd pin of esp8266 module are connected to a 3.3 volt supply Next important thing to remember is that the ESP8266 Wi-Fi module has two modes of operation, programming mode and normal mode. In programming mode, we can upload the program or firmware to the ESP8266 module and in normal mode, the uploaded program or firmware will be run normally. In order to enable the programming mode, the GPIO pin, GP, sorry, GPIO 0 pin must be connected to ground. Also the RST pin, that is reset pin will also play an important role in enabling programming mode. The RST pin is an active low pin and hence it is connected to ground through a push button. So whenever the button is pressed, the ESP8266 module will reset. Finally the GPIO02 pin is connected to an LED to test the working of the program. After connecting and configuring the ESP8266 in programming mode, that is GPIO 0 pin is connected to ground. Connect the Arduino to the system. Once the ESP8266 module is powered on, push the RST button and that is the reset button and open the Arduino IDE. In the board option, go to tools, then board, uh, so look for generic ESP8266, select the generic ESP8266 board, select the appropriate port number in the IDE. Now open the blink sketch. And change the LED pin to 2. Here 2 means GPIO 2 pin of the ESP8266 module. Before we hit the upload, make sure that GPIO 0 is connected to ground. And then press this push button to reset the ESP8266 module. Hit the upload button and the code will take a while to compile and upload. 
we can see the progress at the bottom of the IDE. Once the program is successfully uploaded, we can remove the GPIO 0 from ground. The LED connected to GPIO 2 will blink. Generally, ESP8266 take longer time to compile and upload the program as compared to Arduino. Here our LED is blinking. We saw that program is successfully uploaded in ESP8266 module.